Hey everyone, we are going to do 7-4 practice and problem solving on Envision Pearson, Pearson's Envision. So my name is Jason Jacobs. I'll be your teacher for today. Hi, shout out to my students. And this is my magic bunny, Bubbles. Say hi, Bubbles. Hi, Bubbles. Hey, everybody. And this is one of my sons, Hudson. Say hi, Hudson. Hi. And are you ready to learn about how to find complex area? You are, remember studying rectangles? You can see we're gonna find the area of this complex figure. Now, there's no exact I formula to get it in. You like vacuums, don't you? Yeah. So there's no specific way to do, so we're gonna to have to divide this up into polygons that we know how to find the area of. Yeah, and we know how to find the area of rectangles, parallelograms, trapezoids, kites, but uh, let's see, can we divide this up? Yeah, look at this, guys. We can divide it right here, and we have a rectangle here, and we can also divide it right here. So now we have one, two, three rectangles. You want to take um, bubbles down? Now we can find the area of these rectangles. And, oh, look at who I found. We found Crosley. Tell us who you have here. I have Lucy. This is Lucy, Crosley's hamster. Anything you want to share about Lucy before I um, show how to find the area of these rectangles? Well, well she's a real, the nicest hamster than Rocky. Yeah. She's so nice. All right. Thank you. All right. And then we have Cooper, our dog. It's a pet party, guys. We have a bunch the of pets. The crabs are in their cage because my mama said they'll carry diseases and take my kill ah, my pets. Get Okay. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. Get the pet party out of uh, Daddy's office. Here we go. We are gonna. Okay. Oh, that is that is pretty adorable. The the hamster's riding the dog. Um, the hamster is on Cooper yeah. right now. All right. No, no, no. Okay. Cr pet party in the other room. Okay, and Bubbles is riding a horse right now. No joke. He is really on top of a horse. All right, this is weird. Uh, I'm going to have to restart this. Get Lucy off of Hudson's head. Here we go. Now, let's see. This is three times four here. Do you see how this is four? Because this is four here. So three times four, this rectangle here is 12. And now this is four times four. That's 16. All right, boys, go in the other room. This is 16. So 16 plus 12. And now, okay, do you, do you have to? Like, say it's alone. This is 27 Daddy. times what here? Now, is it 14? Daddy. No. Crosley, Crosley, really. That I need you guys. Hilarious. I really need you guys out of my office right now. Daddy. Okay. So, is this, we need just from here to here, guys. Just from here to here. Now, from here to all the way down, that's 14, but we just went from here to here. But if you notice right here, this is 4. So if we do 14 minus 4, we get 10. So that means from here to here is 10. So now we have to do 10 times 27. 10 times 27 is 270. Now that we found the area of all three rectangles, we do 270 plus 12, plus 16. So let's do that now, guys. Um, 270 plus 12 is uh, 282. And then 282 plus 16 is, um, so the 2 plus the 6 is 8. So it ends with an 8. And then plus another 10. So we were at 282, so... Um, 298, I think. 298 feet squared because it's in feet squared. Let's see if we got that right. And nice work. We got it right. So let's move on to our next one here. Uh, here we go. Ready for our next one? We have this uh, this figure here. Hey, I think we could just make this into one rectangle. What do you guys think? Let's try it. I'm going to draw a line right here, cutting this complex polygon into two rectangles. Of course, I wish that was straighter, right, guys? 
But here we go. Uh, we have 3 times 13. Now, that's 39, guys. So 39. And now we need to find this area. This is 11 times what? 11 times what? We're going to add that. Um, so in order to do this, we have 3 plus 13 plus this 3. 13 plus 3 is 16 plus 3 is 19. So this is 19 right here. So now we do 19 times 11, and we can do that right now. 19 times 11 is 209. So 209 right here. So 209 plus 39, and that equals 209 plus 39 equals 248. So 248 feet squared. 248 feet squared. Okay, we did it. We did it, guys. Let me erase this here. Here we go. And it sounds like the kids are on FaceTime with Grandma and Grandpa. We haven't really been able to see them with everything that's been going on. They came over one day and we, we stood very far apart, social distancing, uh, because we don't want to get anyone sick or get sick ourselves. So we're going stir crazy inside. Who else is going stir crazy inside during this crazy time, right? Uh, but this is kind of fun and different. Um, I'm having fun making these videos and playing with the kids. But I do miss my students. Shout out to my students out there. If anyone is even watching this, I doubt anyone's going to watch this. But it's here for those who need a little extra help. Here we go. We got to find, oh, do you guys remember topic three and uh, topic three or topic four where we did the distance on a coordinate grid? Well, remember um, the coordinate grid, like this is quadrant one. And if we find the distance within the same quadrant, we subtract their absolute values. Now, if we cross quadrants, if we cross quadrants, when we cross quadrants, we add their absolute values. So we add their absolute values. Hey, guys, I'm making a video. Amy. Okay. They are the hamsters riding the dog here, everybody. And now uh, we're going to find the area of the rectangle. And then we subtract out this negative space here. So right here, this is um, 2, and that's 12. So we subtract their absolute values. 12 minus 2, that's 10. So 10 down here. And then we have uh, 10 to 2, that's 8. So 8 times 2 is 80. 80. Now, the whole thing is 80. we got to subtract out this rectangle here. This rectangle here is 4 by what? Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 by 4 is 24. So now we have to do 80 minus 24. So we do 80 minus 24 to uh, get the area. We basically subtract out the negative space there. That's a good way to do it. And we get uh, 56... Um, and the, yeah, this is in square inches. If you look back at the at the question, let's see if that's right. All right, we got it, guys. We got it. Let's move on to the next one here. And the next one is a very interesting uh, shape because it has a triangle. Can you guys see that triangle there? And a rectangle. So let's start with the easy one. Let's do the rectangle first, guys. So three times eight is twenty-four. Twenty-four centimeters squared. Now the area of this uh, triangle, area of a triangle is one half base times height or base times height divided by two. So the base of this is from here to here is three, from here to here is three because of that, and from here to here is three. Three plus three plus three is nine. So now we do nine times four divided by two. Nine times four divided by two or one half nine times four. So let's see down here, guys, which one would work. One half times three times eight. No, three times eight was the rectangle, so it's not that one. Nine times eight. Oh, they did um, this base times eight. Nope, wrong way, guys. Eight times three. Yeah, eight times three was the area of that rectangle. Plus one half 
The base times the height. Yeah, the base was nine and the height was four. So guys, this one's it. Look at that. Hey, hope you enjoyed learning 7-4 practice and problem solving on Pearson's Envision and uh, Complex Area. My name is Jason Jacobs. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And 